Hello and welcome to 5 Minutes About Pulsar. My name is Nicola Boschi, I'm on the streaming team at Datastax and a committer on the Apache Pulsar project. Today I'm going to be showing you how to ingest data from Pulsar to Elasticsearch. If you want to follow along and you don't have a deployment of Pulsar ready to go, you can go to astra.datastax.com slash register streaming and get a free Pulsar instance up and running. If you have any questions about today's video, you can email us at pulsarquests on datastax.com. That we reach the team at Datastax, we'll be happy to answer any question you may have. As you may know, Elasticsearch is one of the most popular analytics engines used for search, logging, metrics, monitoring, and so on. Today we see how to move data from a Pulsar topic to an Elasticsearch index. Apache Pulsar comes with a built-in connector, so the first thing we are going to do is to install it. This is the admin CLI command needed to create the sync. The first thing to set is the type, Elasticsearch. Then we set the tenant, the namespace, and the input topic. And then we need the config file for the Elasticsearch sync. The first thing to set is the URL. Note that uh, this connector supports Elasticsearch 7 and 8 and AWS OpenSearch. Then we need to authenticate. We can use apt-key, token, or the basic out with username and password. Then we need to set schema enable true. This tells to the connector that you want to share the same data model across the Pulsar topic and the Elasticsearch index. And then we set the name of the index to push data to. I created a simple Java application to create some loads. The producer will send the messages with the schema of that class system metric. System metric has a name and a latency, and this simulates some kind of system sending. Uh, operation stats and then we in the loop we continuously send messages and we do expect to see this data on the Elasticsearch index. So now we can check the index and see if there is already some data. So we check in the UI and uh, we have some documents here. So if we open a document we can see the latency field and the name field and this is very useful now because we can filter in or filter out by name or by latency but as you can see the ID is uh, automatically generated by Elastic so we can now see how to fill it uh, and uh, how to handle this with the Pulsar and the Elasticsearch sync in order to improve performance and do better identification of documents. Okay, now let's change our code in order to generate messages with a key. In this way, for a single message, we can then update or delete uh, by the key. So we use the key value schema, and as a key, we set the system name, and as a value, the system metric class. As you can see in the value, we create a key value object. So, and we write messages now. Okay, now let's go back to, to the UI. We can see we have only 10 documents. That's because we use the system as a key. As you can see, the ID is filled with the system name, and the system name are generated from 0 to 9. So a message will create a document if it doesn't exist yet or update it. Okay, now we can try to delete documents. So we move uh, the application to delete mode. And in order to delete data uh, uh, to Elasticsearch, we need to create messages with the key and the, the value left to null. Let's try to run the, the class. And we should we will expect to see documents disappearing one by one. Okay, null. We can try to refresh. I hope you find this video useful. If you did, please click the like button. That will make it easier for other people to find this video and help get more people using Pulsar. If you have any questions or feedback, you can leave a comment below or email us at pulsarquestion.datastax.com. That will go to the Pulsar team here at Datastax. We hope to hear from you.